Uh, I recommend G25 Studio from DNA Genics. And um, I'm going to tell you why. I also um, uh, I recommend upgrading once you download um, G25 Studio to your desktop, laptop, or iPad. Um, you can't download it to your smartphone. So that's uh, important to know. And you unzip the file and um, unzip the folder and uh, execute the application, open it up. Um, recommend um, upgrading to uh, the pro version. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll scroll down and I'll show you that. Um, and then I'm gonna show you my um, Oracle calculator, mixed mode and multi-ethnic Nmati calculator which uh, is a really both uh, really cool features. They're both available only through Pro, the Pro version, especially the multi-ethnic Nmati calculator, which um, is supposed to improve the breakdown and avoid overfits. And um, so I'm going to show, first I'm going to show you, uh, I'll go over a few of the features on the website, and then I'm going to show you my results. So here's the G25 Studio Eurogenes Global 25 Ancestry test has become the most accurate test that anyone can find on the non-commercial market, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously you need to get your global your Eurogenes Global 25 coordinates. Um, it, they only do scaled, so don't worry about your unscaled, but just make sure you have uh, you know you can copy and paste your scaled Global 25 coordinates. And this is what it looks like, the application. And you can see where you paste your target coordinates, uh, the calculator, they have all, uh, all the calculators that are available on uh, Vaho Duo, um, and also the original data sheets. And uh, those are, I'm gonna show you the results from the uh, mo modern and ancient uh, scaled full data sheets, and then one without Jewish references because I'm an Ashkenazi Jew. And yeah, they do the, they have the populations oracle, mixed mode, least squares method, two populations approximation, three populations approximation, a four populations approximation. If you've uh, ever done GEDmatch, you'll be familiar with this. And then they also have the population and Monty calculator. And you, again, you have the option in pro of doing the multi-ethnic and Monty, checking that off. Um, you can also check out, check aggregate and Monty. And you can do distance, uh, with pro version, you can do three different distance calculation methods. The most popular one uh, that's, that's used usually is Euclidean distance, but you can also do Manhattan distance, and there's uh, another one, and I can't remember the name of it. And you can also do PCA. You can check your PCA. You can do the population analysis as well. And let me scroll down. So, yeah, so... Again, as I said, these are the options available in Oracle. Oh yeah, and the Cheb Yeshev is the third distance method uh, selection that you can use besides Manhattan and Euclidean. Um, the Monty again, uh, there's the, I really recommend the multi-ethnic algorithm to improve the breakdown and avoid overfits. Uh, you won't get the, like those trace results that you usually get like 0.02% you know, whatever those, uh, it gets rid of that. So recommend that. And there's the download version 1.2 and to unlock it, it's, uh, eight euros. So whatever the currency exchange rate is for your local currency in euros, it's eight euros. Um, and I'll leave a link to this as well. So, um, according to the most recent ancestry DNA update, I am 99% uh, European Jewish. That went down from 100% European Jewish. So uh, I'm basically fully Ashkenazi, uh, almost fully Ashkenazi, 99% Jews in Western and Central Europe and Jews in Central and Eastern Europe. And I get 1% Baltics. It's interesting, my, my mom gets 1% Baltics as well. She's 99% European Jewish. Uh, my dad is 99% European Jewish with the update, and he gets 1% North Italian. So for whatever reason, Ancestry DNA gave me my mom's 1% Baltic, but not my dad's 1% um, North Italian. 
So I'm just going to show you, um, let's see. So here are my results, my global 25 modern scaled average Oracle with Jewish references. And just here's mix mode. And um, you can see how much Sephardic Jew I get. And um, it's, uh, I think it really shows how genetically similar um, Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews are. We are uh, very similar genetically. Um, 70, you know, number one, 76.17% Sephardic Jew, plus 23.83% German East at uh, a very low distance of 0 0.018. And, um, and so then I'm going to show you, then I remove the Jewish references from modern scaled averages and kind of interesting results here as well in my mixed mode. And you can see that, uh, with no Jewish references, I get my 81, my number one in mixed mode is 81.64% Greek Thessaly plus 18.36% Yemenite Albeda at 0 0.020 distance. And most of them are the Greek Thessaly plus Yemenite or Bedouin, but you can see at number eight and number nine, I get about half uh, Samaritan and half French Alsace. Um, which, you know, that definitely makes sense. Uh, it's about Ashkenazi Jews are on average about half Levantine Middle Eastern. And then we get just very, very levels of European and French Alsace. That's Eastern France. That's basically where Ashkenazi, you know, began, developed in the in, uh, Lorraine region, Lorraine, uh, um, Lotharingia, I believe, Lotharingia. Never can pronounce that, but it's basically Eastern France, um, sort of Western Germany, the Rhine Valley, the Rhineland, Italian Jews that s migrated north to France and Germany. And that's where Ashkenazi developed by Italkin. Um, and then here's my average, my global 25 ancient scaled averages Oracle mixed mode. And you can see, you know, there, there is the, you know, 56.64% Levant, Lebanon, Mid Middle Ages, plus 43.36% Czech, Halstead, Bilani, which is, um, that's basically Central Eastern Europe, at 0 0.022. Um, so, you know, if you kind of, you know, again, the Levant results are pretty consistent in the top 10 for mixed mode. Uh, whether it's Levant, Lebanon, Middle Ages, Levant, Megiddo, Iron Age, Levant, Beirut, Hellenistic, Levant, Ashkelon, Lit, Bronze Age, it's Levant. They're Levant. And then uh, the, Euro the European results are basically kind of more, you know, Central Eastern European or Central Western European. Um, but uh, about 50-50, about give or take, you know, but um, a little bit higher uh, Levant, 56.62. 4% Levant for me. So again, I'm a fully Ashkenazi Jew. And uh, I want to show you the uh, my multi-ethnic uh, results for each, uh, for, e for the three that I did. So this is my uh, multi-ethnic um, and Monty calculator, global 25 modern scaled averages with Jewish references. Um, you can see a good distance there, 0 0.01730, 44.40% Sephardic Jew, 25.80% uh, German East, 14.20% Samaritan, 12.60% Ashkenazi Russia, 5% Libyan Jew, 1.40% Sicilian West, and 0.60% Bulgarian. And I really like the uh, multi-ethnic, and Monte it really tightens it up. Um, I think it really avoids the overfits and overlaps that people get and the trace results that are very uh, suspect. And this is without the, the multi-ethnic and multi-calculated without Jewish references for me. Again, 99% Ashkenazi, 90% European Jewish. Um, I get uh, very good distance there, 7.0.018667. My top population, 28% Samaritan. 24.40% Italian Lombardi, 14.60% Serbian, 10.60% Austrian, 10% Bedouin, A, 
9% Greek Thessaly, 2.40% Spanish Alicante, 8, or 0.80% Lebanese Druze, and 0.20% Yemenite Albaida. And finally, my Global 25 Ancient Scale Averages Multi-Ethnic N Monte Calculator, um, distance 0 0.01803, 21.20% Czech Halstead Belani, 20% Levant Megiddo Iron Age, 19.80% Levant Lebanon Middle Ages, 10.40% Italian Rome Middle Ages, 9.40% Russia Sung Sungir Middle Ages, 8% Levant Beirut Hellenistic, 7% German Deut Deutschland German Singen Early Iron Age, and 4.20% Italian Rome Imperial. So when you count that up, it's uh, about 47% Levant, maybe uh, give or take. If you include some of the Italian Rome Imperial and Italian Rome Middle Ages, uh, which does have some Levant in it, uh, probably goes up to around 50, maybe a little higher than 50% Levant, ancient Levant. And thank you for watching.